Hello everybody, welcome in, welcome in to tonight's stream. I literally changed games like last second. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm very sorry, I apologize. I hope no one was like, is like upset about the fact that I'm changing games. Um, I'm just trying to fix something because I like, fucked up. Um, if you don't already know, um, we're gonna play some Final Fantasy <laughs> because I um, I kind of want to play. I really, really want to try and get closer to Storm to Shadowbringers. I know, I know. Um, hello, am I there? Okay. Final Fantasy, hell yeah. Um, I want to get closer to sh uh, to sh uh, Shadowbringers. So I want to play some Final Fantasy. I hope that's cool, cool with y'all. Um, also because I need to diversify my fucking YouTube content, and it has literally been all fucking Metal Gear Solid content, and that's so annoying. <laughs> that's so annoying. Hi, Chris. How are you? I hope you are doing okay. Ah, oh, shit. Speaking of, what's wrong with Metal Gear? There's nothing wrong with Metal Gear. It's just. Not everyone's a Metal Gear Solid person, so we're gonna... Oh shit, you know what I need to do? Hold on, I'm so sorry. I'll put a picture of Brie and I up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yo, everything's gay. You just got done recording. Your hand needs rest. Yo, listen. Take some time, Chris. I'm so proud of you, bro. I'm so proud of you for recording. Like, you were... You're amazing. You're so amazing. Hops on Cyberpunk. Bruh. <laughs> Do you play Cyberpunk um with a uh, with a controller or do you play Cyberpunk um um yes yeah, sir I do give it give it give it to me give it to me right now give it to me right fucking now I'm gonna try something Ugh, I really don't like doing this but I but I want to try it.
This is probably a huge fucking mistake. Okay, I need a bigger screen for this. Sorry, two seconds. Actually, fuck it. And then we'll make me really small. Yeah, we'll make me small. Yo, Carm! Hello! I also have a whole week off. What the fuck is sleep, bro? Nah, whenever you have a week off, you don't sleep. Never. Never do that. Yo, what's up, Bio? How are you? Julie wants a positive affirmation? Fuck yeah, let's go. You made bread? I love bread. Okay, Julie, two seconds. I'll give you positive affirmation here in a second. This is going to be really confusing. If I ha if I if I'm running fucking if I'm running a dungeon. It's all right. We'll figure it out. No, I don't like this. Get it out of here. Fuck off. Look how pretty it is. Oh, I love this game. Okay. Um, Julie, for as long, oh, if you guys don't know who Julie is, Julie is Princess Polyhedra. She is a mad lover of die. She loves all the dice, any, any, any dice, specifically like D and D dice. She's crazy. She has a whole fucking thing of dice. Julie. Ever since I met you, you have been nothing but a shining star in both Shug's and I's life. And I literally don't know what I would do without your sassy, funny jokes. Um, you always, you never fail to put a smile on my face. Um, and you never fail to just make me feel loved, even though I look like this. Um, and that's like really hard to do. Um, especially um, in like certain spaces where um, a lot of the stereotypical versions of us don't really mix, um, but somehow we mix. <laughs> and I love that we mix so much <laughs> because you are a shining light and I love you so much. And I know Shugs is happy to have you around all the time. And I know I'm happy to have you around all the time. So yeah, was that good enough? I'm sorry it's not good enough, but that's as good as I got right now. <laughs> Did you hear Jason David Fran died? Okay, I don't. Listen, do you know when's the last time I watched fucking Power Rangers bio? Hi, Chris. Did you send it? Ba -na -ba -ba -ba. <gasps> Car made bread. Okay, what kind of bread? I need to know. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da. Oh, you posted it. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Ah, bread, persimmon bread. Is it yummy? I've never had persimmon bread. Is it the, is it the, is it the green Power Ranger? Because when is the last time I watched Power Rangers? A really fucking long time ago, to be honest with you. Woody, how was your day? It'll keep me warm tonight. Oh, Julie. I'm sorry it's really cold, but I'm also not sorry because I want the cold to come back. <laughs> it's work. Are you still at work, Woody? What the fuck? Come home. No. Tell him to fuck off and come home and spend time with me. I'm needy. <laughs> Love me. <laughs> Love me. What he's always working, seriously. Beginning when I was, ugh, for real. I apologize to everyone that I'm late. Um, but I had to go and help Hubs do something. Um, and and I wanted to help him, so that's why I'm late. 
I apologize and I hope that you guys can forgive me. Um, but yeah. I wanna play some Final Fantasy tonight. I'm sorry, it's not Metal Hall Singer. Like I said, I'm sorry, um, but I also really wanna play Final Fantasy. <laughs> and I also wanna hang out with you guys. So it's like, I don't know what to do. So here we are. Um, What's up, Mc McDonald? How are you? Um, I'm gonna play some Final Fantasy. We're gonna do some story. Uh, I probably should put should I put spoilies? Hashtag spoilies. Uh, yeah, there we go. What's up, Dark? I haven't seen you in so long. How are you, have you been? How's school? Tell me how school is. I hope it's okay. Um, I hope the sound is all right. Da da ba da na na na. Um, what do I want to... Oh, bro, I picked up Sage, and it's so fucking hard. Um, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Final Fantasy makes me really happy, so I really want to play Final Fantasy. <laughs> I had an interview today, you guys, and, um... Still haven't beaten Final Fantasy VII. I think there is... There is somebody... In, in my chat or in my Discord that has played all of the Final Fantasies. I think I think it's Crass, C-R-A-S, if you see him around. He's a Final Fantasy freak. Oh my God, ads. Okay, you know, can we, can I, can I look at something really quick? I'm gonna put on some, some music. Um, and I want to look at this ad business. Um, because I know I set it to where, um, wait, Shadowbringers. Okay. I set, okay. So here was the plan with the ads because you guys know that I like to be transparent as far as like what goes on with our channel because this is not only, it's my channel, it's also you guys' channel. For ads, I, tr I try to put, I try to actually schedule ads in because if not, then Twitch will actually force ads. What's up, Dem? We're gonna play Final Fantasy. What the fuck? is the thing where I want. Okay. I want each ad to last exactly a minute. What is your ad schedule? Um, my ad spacing is every 30 minutes. Should I do every hour? Should I do every 30 minutes? Um. Wait, is this is this Shadowbringers? It's just Shadowbringers. Because Julie, what, okay, because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get it to the point where as soon as somebody comes in, they're not hit with a fucking ad because that's so annoying. Here's what I'm gonna do. Julie, where are you? Hmm. Sorry, all two seconds.
Um, no, Devin, I'm still in Stormblood. So we're gonna do some Stormblood story right now. Um, Twitch is so fucking weird. It is Thanksgiving weekend. I cannot believe that it's Thanksgiving weekend. Okay, but Julie, that's that's what I have. I'm midway through Ann Walker. Oh my god! Oh my god, Devin, I'm so excited for you. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Like I don't think you understand how excited I am. I'm I'm way more excited. Why can't you send it? I'm so confused. The file's too big, just like my dick. Yep, I said it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm hmm Yep. Yep. I said it. Follows too damn big. Just suck my dick. Yes, sir. Yeah, I know. Me too. Um. What you could do, Chris, is you could upload it to YouTube and then unlist it and then send me the link. Okay. Now, this is, excuse me, water bottle. This is the, this is the only time I'm going to say this. I'm going to be playing Stormblood content on Final Fantasy. If you have not gotten this far in Final Fantasy 14 storyline, or you just don't give a shit. This is spoilers. This is your only time that I will tell you they're the spoilers. This is spoilies, 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 spoilies. Pedula Hunt. Oof. And watch it then. <laughs> oh, for real though. Uh, I didn't want to change my. I. Oh, I'm so excited, Devin, for you to finish this. You, it's sent. Let's go. <gasps> Wait, Chris, can I share this on stream or no? Tell me. I won't do it if I can't. I'll just listen to it later. How the fuck do I get out of here? I always forget how the fuck to get out of here. Oh, I gotta do this stupid Namazoon quest. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Hey yo! I gotta play it over. The st oh my god, the start of Elf is oh my god, Devin. Bro, give me the whole song. Give it to me right now. Give it to me right now. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> no, I was already mounted, God damn it. All right, I gotta get the fuck out of here. I always forget how to get the fuck out of here. I can't fly yet, I gotta go this way. <laughs> gotta wait, well that's fucking stupid. <laughs> Print out every frame of the video and ship it to me one frame at a, a day until it arrives. Oh my god, I would hate that, Julie. What? Why? Actually, you know that's a that, that's like really good torture, honestly. That's really really good torture. Like, who the fuck is sending me every fucking frame of my video? Yep, yeah it is. <laughs> it's so pretty. <laughs> don't question me, you love me. I'm, <laughs> Julie, I don't think you understand. I have stopped questioning you so long ago. 
I like refuse to question you anymore. <laughs> I, I just refuse. Ugh, and Han, mm. just, oof. He's so hot. Fucking Yoshi P, bro, he knew. Mozen was home to get many and great families, men of honor, samurai once. Great swaths were raised and people put to the sword. What little remains stands as a testament to what was and what will never be again. Come. I would take a closer look. Yeah, I don't think you understand, Julie. Like, I have stopped questioning you, like, probably, like, the first maybe, like, week that I've met you. Oh, shit. There's no point anymore. <laughs> okay, so Devin, where I'm at in the story and Karm, where I'm at in the story right now is I am, um, we're trying to figure out how to storm Doma Castle. That's what we're trying to do. We won the Nadam. Yeah. Um, no centuries, at least of the living sort. Um, those shambling suits of armor have have the run of the place to think this was once a bustling street or full of life. A river people with, oh my God, you fucking asshole. Now I can't even read the fucking story because you're a dick. Stupid ass fucking suit of armor. Come here, asshole. Oh, it's so annoying. I fucking hate that. We're trying to read something and the motherfucker's like, no, you can't fucking read it. And I'm just gonna attack you because I'm an asshole. Okay. He said, um, but even then the Imperials walk among us, sometimes openly, sometimes discreetly, but we are never aware of their presence and we are complicit. He did what he had to do to preserve peace, to keep our people safe, and at what cost? Okay, so how I know what the, like, what the fuck I just, what was going on is, um, I have, so, like, any dialogue or whatever, I have it going into, like, one of my chat boxes. So just in case I miss something as far as, like, story or, like, important, whatever, I just have it there, just in case. Ugh. Oh, great. Forgive me, this is neither the time nor the place for uh, for such dark musings, though did or th though they did serve to remind me of the barrack barracks which once stood the west of here, um, where there may yet be weapons our comrades could use. If you head down the street, past those makeshift barricades, you will come to the ruins. I will search elsewhere, meet me at the water's edge when you have finished. Yes, sir. Have you met yeah, you have had to have met everybody. Oh my god, Devin. I am so excited. I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited to... Oh my god. Look at me trying to fucking avoid... I'm just, I'm just trying to avoid shit, because I don't want to fight anybody. But I'm gonna have to. I think I'm really excited to meet Emmett again. Fuck. Too late. I'm excited to meet Emmett and to actually, um, like, figure out what his deal was. I mean, like, I am, like I know what his deal is, um, but I want to, like, read it at my own pace again. Ugh, I love this place. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, I think I'm... I don't know where I'm going. Am I looking for Am I looking for Han again? No. Ah, uh, fucking Tits McGee, bro. Oh, hey, look. A sheath katana. Exactly what I'm looking for. How convenient.
He's beating me up with his fucking earlobes. How crazy is that? Ew, and now he's just a gigantic blob. That's fucking gross. Ew. I never fought one of these guys before. Yuck. Ew. Who's on? Devin. Devin's on. Leon's on. Go away, you suit of armor, dude. I don't want to fight you. I'm trying to do the story, you asshole. God. So selfish. <laughs> Alas, I have found not a value. Did you? Of course I did. Fucking amazing, obviously. Still sheathed in its scabbard, though even shielded from the elements, it will need to be clean and oiled. I recognize the crest. It belonged to the son of the samurai I trained when, with when I was young. He never even had a chance to draw it. That's fucking sad. There she is. Doma Castle, my home. They let us keep her for a time before gradually moving their forces across the fumans. Now her every court and corridor belongs to the... Yatsu? Through father spent though father spent many time here, I did not. I may have only visited him here half a dozen times on occasion, if that I can't remember. But I remember the view from the from the keep. Doma seems much smaller from there, like you could hold it in your hands. Well, Mosin at least. Doma is so much more than that. There, beyond the moon gates until the shores of the Ruby Sea. And here, in the places that no man can see or touch or take from you. We carry her with us wherever so we go. Not the land or the soil, but the story. And what is life if not a story? The story of our journey from dawn to dusk, day after day after day. The story of our mothers and our fathers, our families and our friends, other peoples and our nations. I think a part of me understood that when I looked out from the keep. He and the son of Kayan, another caretaker of the story of Doma. It's a fine castle, truly with even finer view, but in the end, in the end, can we strike me down? How could I be so blind? We must return to the house at, at of the fierce at once. I have only what can only be described as a revelation. Ours is an excellent plan, but not so excellent that it cannot be improved. And I know how. Okay. Da, da, da. Hi, D. What's up? What are you doing? On second thought, Roxanne, I thought um, you return to the House of Fierce with, without me and tell Alphano to call the others together for a meeting. It is imperative that the cogent emissary be in attendance as well. I shall join you anon. Da na na. Da na na. Da na 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 na. Da na na na. Should I just fucking be lazy and nah, I don't care. I could use a good ride on the horse. Aw, oh, should we bring out Do I want to listen to Shiva music or Titan music? Da na na na. Ooh, or can we listen to Keaton's music? Keaton's music's dope. Yeah. Keaton's music is uh is the fucking is is the is like the O is like the OG like load and screen of Final Fantasy. It's amazing. Have that since <laughs> just like my head. <laughs> yeah, I feel like a lot of people do, especially with my name. Mm-hmm. 
You know what's really interesting, D, is like I, I think I've been I think I've said this a few times, but I my my IRL name, like I have been Roxanne longer or my other WoW name longer than I have had my IRL name. Like I find that so hilarious. Or like so odd. That like when my online friends call me by my my IRL name, I'm like, who? Like what? <laughs> who the fuck is that? Like what? <laughs> Wait, what? What do you mean I sense a somebody with a powerful mark? What the fuck does that mean? Yeah, someone, yeah, because, because the only reason why I thought about that today is because I went to a coffee shop, um, because like I said in the Discord, my, my power was out, and so, means you're gonna die. <laughs> Thanks, Julie. Um, yeah, somebody called out my name, and I was like, who the fuck is that? Like, <laughs> so, but then I was like, oh shit, that's me, I'm dumb. Those are hunts. Hi, Baga. Those are the hunts. What do you mean those are the hunts? Honestly, I wouldn't fucking put it past them, Julie, to want to kill me off. Lord Hian wishes to discuss the details of her plan. Very well, if he insists, I shall summon the others at once. As far as the Kojin, I believe one of their emissaries has is already en route. Nevertheless, I shall contact them to make certain. Yeah, let me just pull them up on my phones. A ring a ding ding, bitch. May I present the Blue Cogent's emissary? <laughs> Greetings and well met, old friends. The elder sends his regards. Band. It's good to have you with us. If uh, you might humor me. Thank you for coming, sir. Doubtless you have already been informed of our plans and the role we would have your people play. However, I seek your counsel as a Corjin of the Blue. Be it by spell or siegecraft, could your forces destroy the underwater foundations of Doma Castle's Alpha Wall? Explosives, coupled with a few incantations. Yes, that might produce sufficient force. Such a thing could indeed be done. Then I wish to revise the plan. Instead of assisting the Confederacy in securing the Enclave, I would have the Corjin advance upstream beneath the water and breach a segment of the outer wall. I mean to flood Dorma Castle. My lord, the castle is a sacred symbol, the very heart of our nation. To destroy it is unthinkable, unconscionable. You cannot do this. I can and I will if it improves our chances. By flooding the castle, we remove the better part of their forces from the field and force your Tsu to retreat to the highest levels of the keep. Tell me that is not a worthwhile trade. But my lord, that castle was entrusted to you by your father, and his father before him. I say to you again, it is the heart of our nation. Stone walls do not a nation make, my friend, a people. And as long as we yet live, we can rebuild. So let us only think of this battle, of victory here and now. For without that, we have no future. I 
see that you are resolved, Lord Hian, and I would not presume to gainsay your decision. I will inform the Elder of your revised stratagem, and instruct our sappers to make ready. Our preparations are all but complete. Once we receive word from our Kojin allies, we shall set our plans in motion. We shall fight, and we shall prevail. Oh shit, you guys. We're gonna flood down my castle. Oh my god. Julie, you know what? You know what's really funny? Is I had like a mini, like kind of like epiphany, and I was wondering, I was like, it's like, I wonder if Jul like how Julie would play this game. <laughs> because I feel like as see as, like as soon as you would see like certain characters. I just, I feel like you would just give them some sort of personality that I don't know if I would be ready for it. <laughs> Baga, what are you doing? Why are you up so late? I hope you're doing okay. I've been slowly leveling in this. Oh, you've been playing Final Fantasy online? <gasps> playing a silly game. Are you playing League of Legends? If you're playing League of Legends, it's okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna shame you. I might shame you a little bit. No. Okay. What are you playing? Are you playing unpacking? It's called the Yomi Hustle. Oh God. Hello Kitty Online. Oh my God. Please tell me that they actually made that a fucking game. And don't play with me. I would totally play Hello Kitty Online. <laughs> I totally would. All right. We gotta talk to Yuri Goody. No plan is perfect, and there is ever room for improvement. I accept. I expect my comrades will be refining their approach until the moment they begin. In case you are unaware, I will. The other Jojin will lead the assault on the moon gates. Not I. My place is at Lord Hyen's side. All right. Oh my God, Julie, can you imagine? Hello Kitty Online. I would. I. Oh, I need it. I need it right now. I need it right now. There's nothing else to head back to Nami. Sanaku's working hard and Lise is doing what he can to help, but maybe there's more that I can do too. He was like a different person when he began hammering those plates, younger, brighter, full of life and hope. Let's go. I feel like it did. Like, I feel like it, but I also feel like it died with all of the Hello Kitty stores, which of course makes me really fucking angry. The plan is set and all that can be done has been done. Rest and relaxation are now paramount for the t for tomorrow we may die. Hell yeah. Have you two not done enough? Will you not pause for a moment to gather yourself on the eve of our grand design? Go not unto battle with weary eyes or lingering regrets, my friend. Okay, I have a question. It's probably a mistake. Where was my on the eve of destiny? Oh shit. Okay. Dope. I just ran over those people's heads. That's so fucking sad. Uh, I might have to go in as a tank. So I don't die. I don't know. Sorbon informs me that his sp sappers will be ready within the day. Which means that we can proceed as planned and attack Doma Castle tomorrow. Considering the key role that you will play, I think the only prudent... I think it only prudent that you refrain from further labors and rest until tomorrow. Agreed. <sighs> no rest for the righteous. Let's go. Come on out, the node. True enough, true enough. 
When you have seen your sundry tasks and are ready to retire, I pray you let me know. Uh, let's go. No, I clicked that. Fuck. <sighs> Alpha, no. I want to go. I want to go now. Is it... Which one did I click or Oh, God. I don't remember which one I clicked. Okay, let's do the first one first. Oh, we shall speak again in the morning. Take care, my friend. Okay. Oof. I was... I always like to look at the guns. I like guns. Da, 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 da. Oh my god. Don't my castle. We're storming. Don't my castle tomorrow. <gasps> You're awake. I was just, um, well, they threw me out, actually. Told me I needed to get some sleep. Ready for the big day. Not long now, eh? I'm nervous, of course, but I also feel like, like I didn't know where I was going, but maybe finally something's going to change, you know? Really, really change. And when the dust has settled, we'll see what we've won and what we've lost. I'm going to give it my all tomorrow. Everything I've seen and felt, I won't let it be for nothing. Right, off to bed. Don't want to overdo it, and neither should you. Oh, but before you sleep, we should look in on our dinner and our reserves. Quietly, of course. Another restless soul. Come, come. Raise a glass to freedom. Hmm. Good. Good. I should be interested to know her thoughts on the matter. Now, ah, that's enough, Gosetsu. You'll not convince anyone with your drunken ramblings. We've talked about this, all of us. We are flooding the castle tomorrow, and that's the end of it. I know, I know. I accepted your decision, and I do not intend to go back on my word. Nevertheless, as the battle draws near, I cannot help but recall our many travails, and it fair compels me to speak. time serving as a leader of men there are two failures which haunt me to this day the first our defeat at the hands of the empire 25 years past and the subsequent imprisonment of your father long did i consider offering up my life in atonement until lord kyan allowed at last to receive visitors, called for me, of all people, for my unborn child, he said, for my dearest Shun, live. My second failure, of course, was the betrayal of that selfsame command. When in the rebellion I failed to protect not only Lord Kayan, but Lord Hien too. Had I yet lived, having known such disgrace, it was an affront to a calm self. If 
you. All of you. So fit to grant this shameful creature, this failure, another chance. To serve a greater purpose. Thank you for pitying an old fool. Now, now, it is far too soon for that. Save your tears for the morrow. You may be sure we will have ample cause to shed them, be they for joy or despair. Ah, even that sounds morose. We who yet walk the path should not think too much on the destination. When the hour arrives, we shall welcome what comes with open eyes. He's right about one thing, though. We have you and yours to thank for this chance. All debts will be repaid. On that you have my word. But first we must live past tomorrow, no? If you've no intention of sleeping, you giddy, you may as well join us. Forgive me, my lord. I did not mean to... Uh, if that is your will. Why is Cosetsu so cute? Oh my god. He is so sweet. Okay. Before we get into Doma Castle, um, which is the next quest, um, I did, I did, I did look it up. Um, I would like to, if it is okay, to eat dinner with you guys. Um, maybe we can watch some some YouTube um, together for maybe like twenty minutes, um, so that I can eat. Because I know if I don't eat, um, I cannot take my back meds. <laughs> So I need to eat something. Hell no. Bitch, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I mean, if it's not okay, I won't. It's fine. I'll just eat later. <laughs> I'll just eat later. <laughs> Food. Yeah. Um, I need to eat something in order for me to take my back medication. Uh, oh, shit. All right. We're just going to chill here with Lord Hien. All right, mortals need that stuff. I know, I know. It's so fucking dumb. So annoying. Ugh, eating? Ugh, God, that's so dumb. I hate eating. Seriously, if I could have everything as in, like, a burrito form or, like, just eat burritos or kebabs or gyros or whatever, like, I, ugh, I'm so okay with that. So okay with that. Um, anybody a murder mystery person? Oh my god, we are not watching Ethel and Dan. Those they're so fucking cursed. Yeah, fuck it. Let's watch this. Okay, I'll be right back, you guys. I'm gonna go grab my food. You're new here. Hi, my name is Daily, and on Mondays I sit down and I talk about a true crime story that's been heavy on my noggin, and I do my makeup at the same time. If you're interested in true crime and you like makeup, I would say hey, subscribe or not. You know, it's really up to you. But hey, whatever. Before we get into today's video, I wanted to give a huge thank you to Kukify. Kukify has been my go-to for all of my fan cases for years. And Tasteify, the world's most popular tech accessories, they are known for their impressive phone cases and global collaborations, is going to have their biggest sale event of the year, baby. And if you know me, you know I love this. I mean, 
working on all these things. Now is the perfect time for you to get a protective phone case for your new iPhone 14 if you've upgraded, or you can get a personalized holiday gift for your friends and slash or family. I mean, a phone case is a great gift because like, they're actually gonna use it. And with Boostify's new bounce case, you'll be getting that best protection at the best price. The bounce cases are made up of 65% recycled casing and have drop protection of up to 21 feet. The bounce case has you covered because it has like these expandable corners that create structural support and add rigidity. And as always, Boostify, they have over 2,000 designs to choose from. So there's something for literally everyone. I mean, no matter what their little vibe or aesthetic is. I'm also loving Boostify's super cute and functional accessories like their phone straps. Cause what do you mean I didn't even message you? Literally, it's in the thing. Actually, if I'm be honest, Kraz, if I'm be honest, I just decided like last second that I was gonna play Final Fantasy. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm sorry, I guess. <laughs> And now you can get the best protection for the best value thanks to Boostify's biggest sale of the year. They're Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale, baby. So go ahead and pick your favorite pet combos and don't miss out on Boostify's limited time Black Friday offer. Thanks, Boostify. I'm going to stop rambling and let's get into today's story. Cannibals. So today's story is about a cannibal and how it was kind of fitting with Thanksgiving coming up. Yeah, right? Makes sense. It made sense in my mind. Today's story I definitely haven't done before. I always get comments in the comment section as I ask, asking like, didn't you already do this story? Why are you doing this story again, right? Why are you doing it a bunch of ways? No, I've never done a story twice. It's just, I can't help it. A lot of these stories kind of sound the same. So this story kind of sounds like one I've done before, but it's not. I'm just letting you know. Thank you. You're eating tacos? Or whatever. So today our story is about a guy named Carl Denke. Now, he was born in 1870 in Croatia, which is now considered southern Poland. Now, this story is from... Oh, my God, Kraz, this looks amazing. Oh, I'm hungry. I'm literally just eating yum tacos. I love tacos. Is this, is this meat that I can't have? Because if so, I'll just take the vegetables and the corn tortilla. <laughs> I <laughs> just love a cannibal story. But That's funny. Just a di disclaimer, there wasn't like too much information available because this story is so old and also a language barrier. So it's just, you know, I'm working with what I got here. Okay, cool. Cannibals. Let's discuss, shall we? Let's get into it. So Carl was born in 1870. Um, he was like the son of a farmer in a pretty wealthy farming community. Things were okay. In the Are carnitas typically pork? Apparently. People I don't know why, for some reason, I thought that they were beef. Making things work. There really just isn't much to say about his life growing up, but I'm guessing it wasn't all rainbows and lollipops because, first of all, we're here. Second of all, Carl apparently ran away from home at the age of 12. Couldn't find why, when, what, what'd he do? Where'd he go? But that's what happened. So fast forward to when Carl's 25 years old and his father died, and again, his father or his family, Carl's family, was like doing pretty well, so they're kind of more wealthy. So when he dies, he ends up leaving Carl, his son. I totally didn't think about that, Kraz. Some of the family wealth. I don't know why I didn't think about that, but I did. But I, I, I just realized that until you, you said something. Farm to Carl's older brother. I know that chorizo is pork. Carl, but I know that 100% because I love chorizo. I loved it so much. Well, but now I can't have it, so. <laughs> so with the money that he inherited from his father, he bought a different and smaller farm close by. So after taking care of the land and getting it to be in like a really good spot, he turns it around and he sells this smaller farm to make some kind of profit, which he does. Honestly, this Carl guy is kind of smart. So he turns it around, sells it. Then he used that money to buy a two-story house. So it was way nicer. He's like, I don't need a farm. I got a house. So he's living in this little town. I think it's called Ribitsky or Kolodesk or something along these lines. What makes it unhealthy, though? So it was here in this small town that Carl settled down. He bought a house. He bought a shop. And this was like a 
mission was called home. Caro kind of brought a little bit of the farm into this niche of town, and he was establishing a business that sold all kinds of pork. You know, lots of pork, pork-related products. One of his most popular selling products was his pickled pork, and he also sold leather pork. So you could get some pickled pork and then also pick up a dozen. That's a good deal, you know? I mean, come on, come on, come on, bro. Now, Carl made quite the name for himself in town because he was, like, really good at doing pork stuff. He was porking away, and he did it so well that he expanded his sales and sold products in nearby towns. And, like, again, pork was his thing. He was expanding the business. He was traveling to different towns selling his meat. I mean, this dude is really It's made up of a mash of everything left over from the butcher cuts up, bro. Why is that shit the best, then? What the fuck? He also was really well known in town as just being like an all around great guy. Yeah, he was like, everyone's like, oh, Carl, yeah, I know him. He's great. Love him. Carl would be kind of like considered the a pillar in the community. Now, Carl, he didn't have a wife. He didn't have kids. He had a house though, right? But he was considered a very good, very moral upstart. You know what's really interesting, you guys, is like, I watch a lot of Bailey's videos like a lot of them okay i can i have consumed a scary amount of bailey syrian videos okay um some say maybe obsessive but you know what it's fine it's okay and it seems like <laughs> and of course like i watch a lot of true crime and a lot of like fake crime and all that like those stupid fucking crime shows and all that shit right but it seems like it seems like every time she like covers something or i watch like a true crime documentary or whatever everyone's like oh my god that person is like a stand-up citizen or oh my god they would totally do anything for the community <laughs> or nah like they've totally looked after my kids or looked after my my dog on the weekends or you know they looked after my house like like when i went away on vacation like it like it's they're totally fine like whatever and then they murder like six thousand people like it's like what the fuck <laughs> kind citizen in fact he even had a nickname in town yeah his nickname was vata denke which means papa yeah mm -hmm. he was like i guess like the father figure in town and a lot of people considered him the dad they loved him carl over here was also a very religious man he remained active an active member at his local evangelical church and he was there every sunday never missed a day plus on top of that he also played organ uh, you know which honestly i love the organ i kind of wish i played it but it's so creepy not like you know spitting is what i'm getting at he was also the designated cross bearer for all processions and funerals. Funerals. So, cool. Way to go, Carl. We don't talk about how hot dogs are made because I love hot dogs. Yeah. I love hot dogs. Is it bad that I like hot dogs? I love them. Like, <laughs> again, it's like in that burrito shape, fashion, whatever. It's the best. Anything that's easy and that I can hold with one hand while I do all the things... Wow, this is a terrible fucking pause for Bailey. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Anything that I can hold in one hand and also drive with the other is, like, good for me. <laughs> Great. To everybody in the community, it just seems like Carl is building a real priest-like, dedicated bachelor reputation. And no one thought he was weird at all. You know, back then... If you looked at someone funny, you were considered weird, a witch, whatever. So they loved this guy, and no one thought he was weird. They loved him. He was the town's pork guy. On top of all this, Carl also loved to give back. He always offered travelers, like if new people came into town, he would offer them a place to stay, give them food, somewhere to sleep, and kind of act like his home was a boarding house. So everyone in town knew, like, hey, if you're ever struggling, if you're out of work, if you're maybe running away from something shady, 
Papa uh, Denke had your back, you know, like he's the guy you would go to. He would feed you, house you, offer you work if you needed cash. Like this guy was Jesus, it seemed, you know, like it just seemed like he was just a saint. No red flags. I don't like these stories because it's like, what are you supposed to look out for? Let me paint a picture for you, like where we are in history. I guess World War One was happening or just had happened. And it was like a really, really dark and difficult time for Germany and the regions that were like lumped together around, around them. So the Weimar Republic was formed in 1918, directly after Germany lost the war to the Allies. Now the scene was not good. There was mass starvation hyperinflation, political unrest, and there was a ton of internal conflict. To sum it up, this period of time was so turbulent for the region that Hitler, who would be considered an insane person in all respects, really didn't take that long to seize power and do some horrible things afterwards, right? This is the political, social, economic scene where people like Papa Donke were considered basically angels. So with so many people suffering and so many people literally starving to death in what was basically a brand new country. Kraz, seriously, if I can hold food and or a drink in one hand and drive with the other, like I'm, I'm golden, bro. Now, if I have to use two hands in order to eat, I don't fucking want it. I don't want it. Except burgers. Burgers are an exception. <laughs> Burgers. Burgers are so good. <laughs> I mean, I guess technically you can hold burgers in one hand. But, like, it's not ideal. He would give the shirt off his back to anyone in need. So imagine the surprise. And honestly, the straight up disbelief you would feel when a rando from out of town accuses Carl, St. Carl, of assaulting him. Liar. On December 24th, 1924, yes, on Christmas Eve, do you call the queen? Yeah. Well, a neighbor heard screaming coming from Carl's apartment. Oh, yeah. So the neighbor, you can hear. I think my favorite thing about Bailey is how animated she is. Like, <laughs> um, because her, she has another, um, kind of version of this it's called um dark history where she goes into the where she goes into the like literally like the dark history of certain topics right so corn she did corn i think she did um i think she did birth control too um and those are really fucking interesting and like she actually does like research and like, like she has like a team that helps her does re do research on like certain topics that, that she's going to do um and they're both in podcast and in video form which is really cool um but i like watching that's gonna sound weird i like watching podcasts because especially bailey like she's so animated that you can't help but watch her or if you listen to her you can't help but hear her being animated like you, i don't know that's so weird to say but i that's, that's why i love bailey i don't really give a fuck about the makeup he doesn't fuck about the makeup. I don't. That's more the story that I care about. So, yeah. How are you bleeding from his head? Now, this gash in this guy's head, it wasn't like just a small cut to the forehead, my friends. Oh, no, no, no. 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 It was a giant gash in this man's head. He had been struck by a hatchet or an axe or something of that nature. There was a, a splitting situation happening on his head. I wouldn't know what I would do. I'd be like, um, stay there. I'm going to go get help or something. But before the victim passed out because of his, uh, you know, massive head wound, he looks at Gabriel in the eyes and is like, the man who did this to me, his name is Carl Denke. And then he would say these words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hoping this powder doesn't turn me green. <laughs> so police show up and this man was immediately taken to the police station. Yeah, they took him to the police station first and they're like, hey, we're going to get you a doctor. And I was like, okay, but why didn't they just take him to the doctor first and just cut his head open so it didn't get into a wound? Shut up, Bailey. You weren't there. It was different time. This man's taken to the police station. They give him a doctor. And they're like, hey, can you give us a statement? Like, who did this to you? What happened to you? Can you talk to us? Again, this man was like, it was this man named Carl Denke. 
was the one who hit him in the head with an axe. Oh, hit him in the head. Yeah. Mm. It was said that when the neighbor found Gabriel, and he said it was Carl who hit him in the head, the neighbor, his first reaction was to gasp quite loudly, it was said. And he's like, thank you. Is a gentleman. The neighbor was absolutely floored, offended, did not believe him. So police take down his statement, and once he leaves the town, like, yeah, we don't believe him. Instead, they labeled this man, the victim, as a drunk. He's a drunk. He's being sloppy. He must be confused. There's no way that Carl would do anything of this nature. And they just didn't take it seriously. Today might be a bad neighbor to take an action. Mayday. Mayday. So police figure that they should bring in Carl. They should bring him in for questioning. Just so they can, like, get to the whole bottom of the story, set everything straight. So they do that. They bring in Carl. So Carl comes in, and he actually kind of surprises these police officers because he's like, yeah, I did it. I'm responsible for uh, that guy's head wound. And they're like, well, why'd you do it? You know, why would you do that? And Carl told police officers that he hit him with the axe because he was acting in self-defense. He said that this man was trying to, or at least attempted, to assault and rob him. So the axe was like the closest thing that Carl had, so he grabs it. We all got an axe on hand. So you grab that axe, you, you know, and attacked him. Self-defense makes sense. Closet axe. We all got one. So police are like, all right, that sounds like it could, it's fair. Sounds like that could be correct. So police are like, well, we're going to have you, Carl, stay here overnight, spend a night here. Have, you'll have your own cell, and we're just going to try and figure everything out, set everything straight, and then you should be free to go in the morning. So Carl's like, all right, fine, whatever. So they put Carl into a cell, and they leave him there until they could figure out, you know, get things worked out, get things sorted out. You wouldn't. I mean, you wouldn't if you were drunk, and I regret everything. Now, accounts kind of vary depending on the source at this point. But while police were trying to investigate, at 11.30 p.m. that same evening... Oh, shit. Carl? ...committed suicide <gasps> by hanging himself. Oh, damn. Oh, damn, Carl? Or Carl? Well... I guess we'll never know the fi the finishing fucking story on that because we're gonna play final fantasy now <laughs> we're gonna play final fantasy <laughs> oh shit my chat's up all right oh man worst cries i need to message him to tell him that i actually messaged him See, Kraz, you're not even online. How the fuck do you expect me to message you if you're not even online? You crazy man. Crazy man. Yeah, I fucking said it. All right, we're going back into the game. Sorry, y'all. I just had to eat so that I could take my back meds. Because if I don't, I'm not going to sit here for very long. Okay. The die is cast. All hangs in the balance, as he and Noel knows. There she is. I trust you are now the worst for wear after last night. <laughs> we received confirmation from the coach and not long ago. Their sappers stand at the ready and await our signal. Let us not keep them and the others waiting. Gather your things. We depart at once. Let's go. Alpha note instruct Lise and the others to move into position and launch their attack. Our scouts report no change in the Imperial's disposition, but I would leave nothing to chance. We must act quickly, lest we know, lest we lose the element of surprise. Understood, I will relay your orders to her and rejoin my unit. Katsetsu and Yurigiri await the two of you at the Mosin. Good luck, my friends. I will see you both again soon. Yes, sir. Ugh. I fucking love watching Bailey Sarian. She's so funny. Okay. Where am I going? I gotta go out again? God fucking damn it. How do I get out? Oh, I gotta go up here. 
Da na na na. Uh, should we do Keenan music again, or should we do Shiba? Let's do Shiba music. Shiba. Yeah. <gasps> Julie, I have so I have mounts just like you have dice. Actually, Julie, this one reminds me of you. Yeah, because it's purple. And it's got lightning feet and sparkles. I don't know why this reminds me of you, but it does. Makes me happy. <laughs> the fucking music for it is dope, too. Oh, shit. No! Okay, this is this is the horse that reminds me of you. Because it has sparkly feet, it emits sparkles, and it's purple. I don't know why, but it just does. It reminds me of you, and that's why I love it. I've never actually heard the whole song of this. Pretty dope. Yo, why is Final Fantasy music like amazing? Explain. Oh shit, not the earlobe dudes. Oh no, not the earlobe guys. God damn it. Oh no, Julie, I gotta show the fucking. Okay. I didn't know you were still in the ad. Fuck. Mount. Okay, this one. This is the mount that I said reminds me of you. Because it's got lightning feet, it emits sparkles, and it's purple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. I know you're telling me. <laughs> what is this feeling? Is it love? Of course it's love. Oh shit, here we go. Cutscene. Understood. Wish us luck. Right. You all know what you have to do. Are you ready? Ready to see. Ready to show them what a good job they made of breaking us. Then what are you waiting for? Move out! Why must we waste our time guarding this last hmm? Sound the alarm! Fluminus is under attack! Armed insurgents have breached the perimeter! We need reinforcements! This is Lee. Imperial forces converging on our position. Looks like we've got their attention. We'll be sure to keep them busy for as long as we can.
to wield power to make men kneel before you. There is no better feeling. A pity I must share this pleasure with a feral dog of a Dothal. Preening, Oranir. You fear that you will put the sun in shade. Those are for you. Go, claim your prey. to me come to your death with each that falls my soul soars higher swiftly brothers fall not behind make an offering of their steel to father azim They seem to be enjoying themselves. My lord, the barrier! That it should fall so soon! Truly, our allies seem determined to surpass each other. The Magitek field is down. I repeat, the Magitek field is down. Confederate vessels, you are clear to advance upon the Enclave. The wall is breached. The Kojin too will not be outdone. Our allies have set the stage. Now we must take the castle. With me! Oh my god, fuck this bitch, bro. My lady, the riverside wall has been breached. The lower levels are already flooded and the water is still rising. So I gathered. You would tear the whole thing down, all for the promise of peace. A noble sacrifice, or the last of the flailing feathered beasts. Speaking of which, how fares my breach? The... the procedure was carried out as instructed by Lord Aulus. By all indications, it was a success. Is that so? Then he may yet be of some use. Devotees of vengeance should rightly pursue their cause unto the bitter end, don't you think? 
their hearts aflame with passion until the last few embers fizzle and fade, leaving naught but ash. The Viceroy's orders were clear. If Donna falls, none shall be spared but you. Tell the men to fight as if their lives depend on it. Because they do. As you command, my lady. Again they come to make you fight. To make you grovel and suffer. But you have endured their worst as a fight. You know their tricks? They will not find a flower simply waiting to be plucked. Oh shit, bro. That's some crazy shit. Oh my god. You fucked up Doma Castle. Amazing. <clears throat> I. there can be no doubt. The Viceroy is trapped and so comes our part. Our cogent allies will deliver us to our destination. So, to the Western Dock. And do not forget to bring your fellow adventurers. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, if you hear anything in the background, I apologize. <laughs> Hubs and uh, fall alarm mounting something in uh, another part of the house, and so I apologize. I'm really about to put this gate up, bro. Jeez. Just like 25. <laughs> wow, how annoying. Okay. That was a play. Um, he some games he does. Um Hub's um best friend um and another friend um was playing they played Final Fantasy with us um before, and that's when I did like all of the skippies. Um, because they just wanted to get to the content. Like they didn't really care about the story as much um which is fine um but now they don't play anymore um but i still play games with them like i'll play modern warfare 2 with them um oh no witty what microsoft shit store no uh what are you re-downloading? Yeah, we play Call of Duty. <laughs> Duty. Um, when um best friends not playing, I'll play Boulders Gate three with them. Um, so like we play games together. Um, but like I am so keen to kind of I wouldn't say like get through the story, but I um really really want to do the story, and so this is kind of what I've been playing. Especially if it lost like 30 hours of pers Oh no, witty no. I, <clears throat> I can feel the rage just, just coming off of your body, <laughs> mounting something. Hey. <laughs> Julie, get out of here. <laughs> oh wait, let me, Oh, Julie, you'll like this one, too. Nah, he doesn't play Final Fantasy anymore. This one's got water on its feet. Uh... He used to play Final Fantasy, but he doesn't anymore. He even made a character too, and she was she was pretty hot. I think yeah, she was an Elizan, I think. 
Oh my god. I remember uh, I remember wow mount hunting. Y'all nasty. Listen. Feel that. Greetings and well met, my friends. Climb aboard, climb aboard. There's room enough for all of you. Um, that we might improve our odds of success. We will divide into two parties upon arrival, one compromising of you and your adventure comrades and other Gatsetsu, Yurigiri, and myself. We will enter the keep via a separate route, dispatching any Imperial forces that attempt to bar their path. Even should you meet with misfortune, the other will reach, um, Yos... Yotsu? Agreed? Let's go. Let's begin. For Doma! <gasps> oh my god. God, I'm excited. I'm super excited! Oh my god. I'm so excited to do this. I know um I know Logan and Twick were wow wow mount farming like for a while. I just don't know if they were and they were able to end up getting any of the mounts that they were going for. Work all day and I just want to play my game but no. I'm sorry Woody. I download them and give them to you in a thumb drive so you don't have to re-download them if I could. I feel so bad because I know how that feels. It feels like you just got stabbed in the chest. <laughs> I don't want to tank. Should we, should we show how bad I am at Sage? I think we should. I think we should. See, Kraz is always on my butt about, oh my god, you never message me. Because you're never online, Kraz. Look at this. Offline. Offline. Whereas Devin is online. You're online right now. No, you're not. What? <laughs> you, you fucking jerk. <laughs> Jerk. Devin or Kaz, would you like to run Doma Castle with me? If not, it's okay. I'm gonna fail at Sage. I'm gonna fail so bad. I picked up Sage, I think, like earlier this week, and fuck man, what a difference in healing. I'm not I'm not used to it at all. Um, I'm used to Astro where it's regen. Um and so I kinda just press buttons. Yeah, I just press buttons. It's kind of a problem sometimes. <laughs> I'll panic and I'll be like, oh my God, like what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> I don't know what to do. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Okay, I'm going in. I'm fucking scared. That's not that's not what I wanted to press. Nope. Oh my god, you guys, I'm gonna fail. Oh my god, I'm so nervous to heal this. I don't know why. Uh... Okay, if anybody doesn't know what I'm talking about, there is a difference. So in WoW, um there there is kind of the same thing as well, um, with um, with priests and versus like druids or um, shamans, shamans, whatever, however you want to say it. Um, there's a difference between like barrier healing and there is also a difference. So barrier healing versus regen healing. Um, barrier healing is exactly like what it says. It, like the barrier soaks up the damage that in turn the tank would get or whoever is taking the brunt of the damage, which is the tank. Um, and then whenever you regen heal, um, you are healing the damage that has already gotten to the tank. Um, 
So, and that's what I'm used to because I remember I healed, I think I tried to heal like a couple of times in WoW and I was a tree. I was fucking region and I was region and fucking, uh, I was resto on my druid for like a good, like 20 minutes. And I was like, I'm never fucking doing this again. <laughs> I fucking hate healing so much, but for some reason, um, uh, but the, the main difference between WoW and Final Fantasy and how they have their healers is in Final Fantasy, they have, um, you are still expected to damage, um, while you are in a group while you're healing, which is really, really cool because, um, with Sage, what I figured out, um, if anybody else watches, um, Logan, he plays, he mains a Sage as a healer and he fucking wrecks. Um, I am a noob and I know nothing. Um, 100% Jon Snow. Um, but, um, I think what's really cool is that whenever you're DPSing as a Sage, um, if you put this little, like, I want to say like a buff, but it's kind of like, I guess it is kind of like a, it's like a link between you and the tank. And whenever you DPS, um, any, like all of the, all of the damage that you do goes to the tank. So it essentially you're heal fighting, which is really, really cool. Cool concepts. Didn't even think about that. Um, and then whenever you're, um, whenever you're dealing with, um, like regen healing, which is what an astrologian is, um, you try to just keep up. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sage healers are fucking crazy. I feel like... Oh, wait, Kraz, did you guys... Did you want to come? Did you... Did, did, did you want to come to the dungeon, too? Or you you just... You, do you just want to chill? I don't care. Either way, I'm just... I'm just... I'm asking. Um... Along with, um, so I feel like Astro and White Mage, oh no, oh my fucking god, get your fucking ass in here, I'm over it, get your butt in here, get in here, <gasps> can't locate a character with that name, oh my god, you're a butthead, <laughs> um, yeah, so if if I think about it, um, I feel like the closest that I can think of is like holy priests are like sages, but like on crack. And then resto druids kind of remind me of uh, white mage. And then and then fucking scholar is like a fucking weird amalgamation and just it's crazy like it's a lot crash when you get your butt in here <gasps> can't locate <laughs> no it's okay you don't have to i'm totally just fucking with you i find um because i played wow for so long i kind of see a lot of simulation similarities um, between like the different healers and the different tanks and the different DPS, um, but which is which is kind of nice because then you can kind of um, pull your experience from other um, MMOs to try and help you not be a shitty teammate. <laughs> I do feel like um. I think as far as like uh like AoE and WoW versus Final Fantasy, I think uh like the AoE in Final Fantasy is like a lot more like sparkly and pretty. Um whereas like in WoW it's like poison. It's gonna fucking eat your whole entire fucking foot and you're not gonna be able to walk or do anything. <laughs> okay, I'm my way. Okay. Um, I just hope we don't kill the party. <laughs> Invite them vermin. He's my friend. Oh, cute. <laughs> the 
Is his name literally the vermin? Oh my god. Wait, why don't you invite him when you get in the party? Oh my god. Wait, is his first name The and his last name is Vermin? Are you kidding me? <laughs> so funny. Um, what's really interesting is I kind of just had this like epiphany. Um, warriors in Final Fantasy remind me of um feral druids in WoW. Just because of like the crazy DPS like the crazy healing abilities, like the amount of damage that you could just take, like, okay, I'll invite, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because there's nothing. Um. Yeah, I just find it really just interesting, like how some of the classes are, are I wouldn't say similar, but they have some similarities. I don't know. I like it, which is kind of nice. Because then you're like, oh, I kind of understand like what's going on here, or like why this ability does this, or um, yada yada yada, which is really cool. I want the true experience. I'm putting this on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I need the true experience. First, okay, listen. First time, Kraz, I want the true experience. Anything after that, I don't care. I should play Elden Ring. What's up, Gus? I should play Elden Ring. Ugh, I don't even know if I want to play Elden Ring. There are a lot of people that tell me that I should play Elden Ring, and I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to play. The game, this game looks so boring. Okay, so the problem though, Gus, is like, because I'm doing um, a story, it's gonna be, I don't know. It. I guess I, I guess it just depends on like, if you're a story person or not. And I keep pressing all the wrong fucking wrong buttons because I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. Yeah, if you don't like story, it's kind of like very meh. It's very, very pretty game's pretty i'm a fucking dragon person i know it's crazy i know it's crazy okay shh be right back Oh my god, all right, here we go, I'm gonna fail. Oh fuck, oh Kraz is tanking, fuck me. All right, here we go. Oh my god, I'm gonna fail. You know, guys, I've heard that. Oh my god, here we go. Oh my god, it's okay, we're alive, we're still alive. Oh my god, Kraz is testing me, oh my god. Oh my god, I hate it here. Kraz, why are you doing this? <laughs> Kraz, please! <laughs> Kraz, please! Don't do this! <laughs> I hate this! <laughs> I'm never letting him tank ever again. I'm tanking. Next time, I'm tanking. Oh my god. I'm sweating. 
Thanks, Kraz. You're amazing. You're a lovely human being. <laughs> I'm gonna kill everybody! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is gonna be hilarious. <laughs> I can just imagine Kraz just taking it. He just hears me in the background just freaking out. I don't know why this is funny to me. Oh my god. Oh my god, everyone, don't die! Don't wanna die. Don't wanna die. Kras, please! <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna die. It's okay, it's okay, we're not panicking. We don't panic. I don't do that. Oh my god. Are you gonna walk? Um, you know, Gus, I thought about, because, like, I know a lot of people who, wow, that's really loud. Um, I know a lot of people who play, um, a lot of, oh my god, Kras is gonna die. Two seconds. Nope, wrong button. Um, I do know that, um, a lot of people who play Souls, Souls-like games, so... Um, Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, um, Demon Souls. Um, oh my god. Um, and adding Sekiro in there. A lot of people tell me that there is, um, oh my god, hold on. I can't fucking, apparently I can't heal and talk at the same time. I'm not Logan. Logan is, like, the best at just all of this. Okay. Um, oh, shit. Fuck. Um, what I do like, Gus, is, is you're right. A lot of the things within Dark Souls is very environmental-based um, to tell the story. Um, I need to put down a bubble. 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 And here's the thing. Do that. And then we're going to... Oh, fuck. Yeah, we're going to do that. No, wrong button. We're going to do that. There we go. Oh no, guys, I'll die. No. Okay. Um, and that's what I and that's what I do like um about the Souls games. Um Bloodborne though, I love Bloodborne. Like I love the story of Bloodborne. I love how fucking eldritchy it is. Um Kraz, why are you dying? I mean you should just please stop. Excuse me, please stop. Please stop doing that. I'm gonna need you to please fix your shits and stop dying. Thank you. Appreciate it. Big preach, bro. Big preach. Oh my god. If anybody's gonna fucking die, it's gonna be me. <laughs> eee! Okay, put that. Okay, no. Okay, look at this. We're doing great. We're doing amazing. We're doing amazing because Kraz is just killing it. Vermin, you're doing great. You're doing amazing. All right. Bloodborne has a crazy Eldridge um, feel to it. Um, it's it's very... Uh, if you're weak in the stomach, I wouldn't play it. Um... But... It ha I, I think it has a good story. Of course it would do a fucking AoE attack right when I'm like in the middle. Oh my god, fucking back. Oh my god, please stop. Please stop with this damage. Can you please can we please? Can we please? Oh my god, Kraz, you're gonna kill me. You're gonna make me you're gonna make me sweat. I'm sweating. Kraz, I'm sweating. I'm a sweaty gamer right now. Make me be a sweaty gamer. Fuck. Crash, maybe be a spider gamer. No, Chris. Please. No, Chris. I'm sorry. No. Fuck. Guys, I'm sorry. Press all the buttons. No. <gasps> Bubble. Oh my god. Sweaty gamer status. Sweaty gamer status. 
Oh my god, what am I doing? What is happening? No, Kraz, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. It's okay. It's okay. Don't die, please. Oh my god. Okay, two seconds <laughs> after Kraz <laughs> decides to stop dying. We'll have, we'll have, we'll have a talk. Kraz, how the fuck? All these dudes do fucking hit like, oh my god, no. Why? Kraz, please. No. Poop. Okay. Well, I tried. <laughs> What's up, Pat? I'm doing. Uh, I'm having a good time. Uh, that was a yeah. That was a little much. I mean, I was definitely. Cause I was a. Uh, I was a. Uh, I was pressing all the buttons. <laughs> um, I think the difference, Gus, is how Dark Souls explains story versus how Bloodborne explains story. They're they're from FromSoft. They're from the same developer. Um, it's just um, how the story is told is is just different. Which is really cool. Pat, welcome in. I hope you're having a good day or night wherever you are in the world. Okay, we're doing things. We got this. We got this. Look at this. Controlled. I don't know why I'm individually fucking barricading everybody. Just do one of those. Jeez. Um, but the only thing, Gus, is um, if you want to play Bloodborne, you have to have a PS4. Um, it's, it's a PlayStation exclusive game. Whereas Elden Ring, it can either be PlayStation 4, I believe. Um, I know it's definitely on 5. And I know it's definitely on PC. Good fucking Kraz and Vermin just, you know... Just rolling. How did that miss you? Hello? You have so many consoles. Yeah, I feel like if you have a lot of consoles, um, you're bound to find um, a console that works <laughs> with the game. I just think what's so interesting though is Julie, do you play with an MMO MMO mouse? So like where it has um like the buttons on the side instead of like, you know, the what is this? The like number pad or like the numbers at the top. I never had an MMO mouse, whereas Hubs, he could not fucking live without his MMO mouse. That motherfucker was like quick. Was pulling out freaking um Oh Tits McGee Will you fuck off? I don't like the mice I use in an ambidextrous mouse though, so two thumb buttons work on both sides. That's fucking cool. What the heck are those? The fuck is an ambidextrous mouse? That's so cool. I have never heard of that. But you know what's really, really nice though? Is like, even though I haven't, um, um, played this uh, expansion in a really fucking long ass time. Um, oh shit, fuck. Um, I do remember most of the fucking, um,
Um, I do remember a lot of the mechanics. What the fuck? Why isn't this working? Oh, there we go. I know why. Jeez, I'm so stupid. What is happening? Oh, bro. I'm not even freaking targeting the damn boss, y'all. The fuck? Oh. Oh, shit. Do we gotta be in the fucking pillar? Yeah, we do. Yeah, there we go. Fucking knew it. I didn't even see us looking at my damn buttons like a freaking idiot. Oh, God, of course. Dumb mistake. That was dumb. Bubble. That's like my favorite thing to do is like just walk into a fucking thing and just be like, just drop a whole fucking bubble. In Salem stream. Salem stream. Oh no, Verda, no. Okay, JK. <laughs> Good job, everybody. I'm so proud. It's an amazing job. I just got hit a whole bunch of fucking times. That's cool. Oh my god, Kraz. Kraz has two, like, his balls are way too big right now. <laughs> Kraz has big balls right now. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need you to calm down, Kraz. This is my favorite, this is my favorite attack. Pew, 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 pew. But it may have been someone else. Probably. And you know what? That's okay. Oh no, Kraz, I forgot. I have to heal you. Oh my god, I'm not used to this. Kraz, why are you doing this to me? You know what? And that's fine, Pat. Like, <laughs> any, regardless, welcome in. I hope you're having a good day or night. Do you also play Final Fantasy XIV? online and if not what other games do you play or if so what do you play like what is your like what class do you like love the most are you a cute bunny girl like everybody is kraz is a cute bunny girl oh geez bro what the fuck is wrong with me okay drops can you get the fuck off of my screen I do, you know what, you know what I'm thinking is like, I actually really do like, um, the fact that, um, the, the barrier healing, it does give you kind of like a second to, I wouldn't say breathe, but it does, um, bro, what the fuck? It does kind of give you, um, a little bit of like a second to get their health back up so that you're not like panicking or like, no, okay. Or everyone's just going to fucking die. That's, that's, that's cool. Or I'm just going to do that. That's fine too. I didn't even know what that fucking button did, but here we are. I just fucking press it. You're going to crash. It's almost 2 a.m. Julie, you are lovely. And remember, you are the shining light in my eye and I appreciate you lots. You love playing games like Dead by Daylight? Oh, man. I would love to play Dead by Daylight again. Um, but I just fucking suck at it. Play Destiny 2 sometimes. I'm currently taking a break. <sighs> Bro, Destiny. I know a couple people who play Destiny, but... This is cutscene. <gasps> oh, shit. It's a cutscene. Bro. Motherfucker. It's a fucking green goblin. Julie, sleep well. Um, please take care of yourself. Ha <laughs> ha 
You guys are fucking cute. <laughs> Alright, crabs, get in there. I was trying to just smack. That was that was just me trying to smack your butt. That's that's the only rip and tear. Uh, that sounds very. I don't know. I don't know about this guy, you guys. He's fucking weird. Oh yeah, we got a bubble. Bubble. Boom. Oh shit! Fuck. Oh my god. No. Fuck off. Oh my god, are we for, are seriously right now? Are we, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh shit, I gotta run. Bro, fuck, I forgot this mechanic. Oh shit, fuck. Oh my god, let's watch Roxanne fill up fucking mechanics. Jeez. Bro. Bro. Bro, don't do this. Oh my god, fucking Beyblades. I forgot about this motherfucker. Fucking Beyblades. <laughs> Bro, Beyblades are dope, but like... Shit. Da na 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 na. Oh my god. Pat, give me a second. I will totally respond to you. Oh my god, this motherfucker. Oh my god, this motherfucker. No! I'm gonna fucking get everyone killed. Bro, these things want to go fucking diagonal. Oh my god. Good night, Green Goblin. Heck yeah, we did it. We died twice. <laughs> Oh no, I gotta fucking... <laughs> You're fucking, you guys are so funny. What the heck? Goodbye, DPS. Yeah, especially when I'm healing Pat and Kraz likes to, so the problem is, um, like if, like if I chose, um, my main class, um, which is Astrologian, um, I would have been kind of fine to go the pace, um, that Kraz was going, um, but because I decided to pick a different healing class, like a fucking masochist that I am, and I like to hurt myself like that, um, I am trying to learn it. Oh, while Kraz is also testing me. And when cutscenes happen, I try not to, like, say anything. So, like, right now. Have you ought to say for yourself? For what you have done to our people. Your people. <laughs> My people. The precious lordling beloved by all come to confront the wicked witch. My parents taught me no better. They wove me from dawn to dusk like an ox or an ass or some other beast of burden. Until, that is, my brother spied a chance to transform the family fortunes. And so I was married to vicious old Drek, who beat me as he pleased. And when I pleaded for help, I was told to grin and bear it. For the family. For him, for everyone's sake. They pretended not to notice, but they knew. They knew. What did it matter? I was nothing to them. Less than nothing. 
I wasn't of their flesh. I wasn't a fellow Domon. I wasn't even a person. I might just as well have been dead. And then my husband passed away one day. And so I was sold off yet again to pay his debt. But this time, this time, I found a way to live for myself, to survive as a spy for the Empire. Oh, those were the days when the scales first fell from my eyes. No longer would I be a slave to my parents or my husband or the pleasure house. I would be free and receive due compensation. That would be enough, I thought. Until I saw a doorman in the hall. Bleeding and broken. And my heart... My heart... skipped a bit. Lying at my feet. Groaning in agony. There was nothing I would not do to feel that joy again. To bend this cruel, twisted world to my whims. Hmm. Now, having borne witness to my life's work, have you aught to say to me? <laughs> Twas kind of you to lend me your ear, my lord. But now it is time for us to conclude our little tete a tete with a final game of chance. Who shall stand and who shall fall? Let the die be cast. This was her plan from the first, to bring the keep down on our heads! I will remember your words. Roll this bitch! We must flee. Order our forces to withdraw. Bro, I'm about to cry because Gosensu is gonna die. Go, my lord, while you still can. I cannot hold this forever. Bro, no. Bro, no, not no, like this. I will not leave you behind. Do your duty. Deliver Lord Hian and the others to safety now. Forthwith, I shall manage on my own. Bro, I swear to God, if Gosensu dies. No one leaves. Not you or anyone else. Do 
is naught this old frame cannot bear. Juno, all of you, the day is won, and the morrow beckons. Thank you for granting me new purpose and a measure of peace. Go, thank you. You never failed us, not once. You served my father faithfully, and I'm a better man for your guidance. And the Doma we build together shall be better for it, too. Be proud, my friend. Be proud. I am, Shun. More than you know. the die. Gambling was never my vice. How merciful the gods that I should find you in time. Kasetsu? We must turn back now before it is too late. Eyes forward, Serena. That was his wish. I will deliver you to Sekiro. The others are waiting. I'm so sad. <laughs> oh. Why? I mean, I know why. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> Yo, Berman, I had so much fun. Thanks for coming. Oh, thanks for the follow. Bro, what the fuck? No, what the what the fuck is happening? Get this get this shit out of here. Oh my god. I freaking broke my damn Yeah, there we go. <sighs> Why? I'm so sad. God 
damn it, you guys. I'm not crying, you're crying. Fucking douchebag. I see. Yep. The world turned upside down. Wait, hold on. Before I fucking... Ugh. Yo, this is a nice ass dress. I like this. So when it comes to glams, you guys, I like more of like the armor type of glams. Like I don't really like the like cutesy, like how Karm is and how Kaz is. I can never do that. I like a little bit of armor when it comes to my glams. And I really like this. I'm so sad. <laughs> Go Sensu. Oh. Rip. Thank you. The occupation is ended then. And the people must be informed of our victory. I will simply not give up Gosetsu for lost. We ought else we must and need search the ruins. Allow me, my friends, the castle is still collapsing into the river and could easily drag you to your death. I can navigate the waters easily without fear of drowning. Be reasonable, brother. You know he's right. A word, if I may. My lord withdraws into himself, unable to turn his thoughts from the keep. He not, he needs us now more than ever. My friends, I am returned. I swarm as far into the ruins as I could. And did you find him? Nah, lady, not remained of the keep for me to search. Undermined from below and shaken from above, the manner of this collapse was most unusual. If the floor beneath him gave way before the rest, it is not impossible that he could have been sent tumbling into the river. But the water is thick with silt and, and debris. Despite my best efforts, I could not find him. I'm sorry. There is not for which you should apologize. Thank you, Sorbonne, for taking it upon yourself to search. The castle is in ruins and the people are eager to learn of the fate of their nation. We leave at once. Are you sure, my lord? The day is won, but the morrow beckons. It falls to us to greet it. I'm going down to the docks to see if I can't get one of the Confederate ships to take us to the Enclave. Mayhap we should tell the others of the House of the Fierce to gather there? Magna and Sadu know not of what happened in the castle. I will go and tell them. They fought violently with honor. Sanira, I pray you tell them that as well. You two, my friend, were instrumental in this triumph. I must insist that you be present when we bring these tidings to my people. Yes, sir. Let's go. <gasps> Hi, Dev. <gasps> you are looking smashing, sir. You look like Hermes with your fucking feet. With your feet. Oh. Devin, you're looking mighty smashing, sir. I 
I like your outfit. You're so cute. Yo, this outfit is dumb. No, Kingdom Hearts. Oh. Oh shit. Alright, I'm backing up. See, I've never played Kingdom Hearts. I don't know. Look at Devin posing like he fucking owns the joint. Look at this, y'all. Oh shit. Oh shit, Dev. <laughs> you look good. Mighty cute. With your fucking cowboy boots. Oh shit. Look at cute. Look at cute. Oh, not with the glasses. Not the glasses. <laughs> Look at cute. What are you going to a party or something? Oh my god, not the fucking whale. Jesus. <laughs> Yo, every time you guys, every time Dev would fucking um come and find me on the server, he would just show up in his gigantic whale. He's fucking hilarious. Bye, Dev. I'm leaving you. <sighs> this is so sad. What do I... Oh, shit. Hold on. Mama, 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 mama. I'm kind of close to the end of this chapter. Not really, but I am. Dev, put your damn scythe away. Whose heads are you? Whose head are you fucking cutting off? Calm down. Yo, that's legit a chainsaw. That's so fucking cool. You look like shit. Thanks, bro. Cap, uh, the captain thought you might need to arrive to the enclave. Ready? Let's go. Come on, Dev. Let's go. Get on the boat. I don't know what happened there, but it's over. You won. That's cause enough for celebration, and those people you're about to see need something to celebrate. Deb, get on the boat. We brought everyone here. You were the last to arrive. I see. Thank you. We owe the Confederacy a great debt. I have waited 25 years for this moment. You owe us more. It's Lord Hien! Lord Hien! It's him! He lives! He lives! Some few words of encouragement would not go amiss, my lord. Uh, right. Uh, yes, uh, of course. Forgive me. This is rather more daunting than I had anticipated. But you are right. I must be strong. Wish me luck.
We are a sorry lot, are we not? Tired, dirty, stinking of blood and sweat and ash. The people push to the point of breaking. Yet, we won. The perseverance to endure decades of oppression. The will to carry on the legacy of those we have lost. These were the bonds that held us together and gave us the strength to reclaim our home. After 25 hard years, the shadow of the Empire no longer darkens these lands, and we may at last look forward to the dawning of a new day. But, my friends, it will be a day of work. So I ask you, have you yet the strength to stand? To rise up with me once more, here and now, and begin to rebuild our homeland? This will not end with Doma. We will see to that. Right, Lise? Right. Indeed, this is but the beginning. The tide is turning, and it shall soon bear us back across the seas and onward unto the next battlefield. Oh my goodness. Why is Lord Hand just... He just gets it, bro. He just... Ugh. He's such a good leader. Oh shit, we gotta go back this way. <laughs> Duh. I'm not gonna mount. It's fucking stupid. Bruh. How? Ugh, I gotta run. I have to use my legs for once. My leggies. Are you kidding me? Who the fuck walks in this game? Nobody. Nobody walks in this game. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Honored hero, you seek passage across the one river. Yes. I outsmarted Dev. He doesn't know where I'm at. I'm hiding. I have to hide from Dev this from this whole in this world. Are you quite certain that you would not prefer to stay a while longer? There are sure to be festivities at which you would be the great the guest of honor, like as not. Very well, there are other ways in which we might celebrate by rejoining the fight for freedom in Gear Albana. Albana? Albania? Short there a time has been 
we have all come to regard this land and her people as our own, I think. But we have done that which we came here to do. The world of Doma's liberation will soon spread through the Empire, and we must seize this opportunity to rekindle the fires of liberation in the West. Yeah. We dare not allow the Imperials a moment respite. At least they march on Doma again. For the sake of all concerned, we must, we should leave immediately. Did I hear you right? You're leaving? I'm afraid so. We've got our own battle to fight. What about you? Will you be heading back to the steppe? Yes, the war here is ended and there's no cause to remain. The Ornir and Duff... Okay. I will follow them. Anon, I wish bid you farewell at first. The blue two must return to their homes, but we'll be back. Doma has much need of merchants and builders, and we are eager to offer our services. And just like that, our grand fellowship is broken. Without ceremony or pomp, you steal off into the dark? What? English is hard. I'm sorry, you guys. No matter, we have plenty to get on with. Places to be, place people to rob and so on. And the captain was never one for mingling. <laughs> and I'm a pirate. Give me song of the tower and I will be happily, I'm happy hob hobnogging with Lord Hien. Nay. No taste for the finer things. <laughs> In any event, we need not part ways here. If, if you are for Kugani, we would be happy to take you. Her waters have been fruitful. I wish you well on your journey, my friends. <laughs> May you walk in crimson. Thank you, Serena, for everything. And the Kamsi speed you on your way until we meet again. Bye, Sinra. Bye, Sarvan. They were really fun. Okay, I have to hide from Dev. Fuck, he found me. Shit. <laughs> Hi, Dev. <laughs> You found me. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Trying to hide. Hi, Devin. What are you doing? Seriously. <laughs> you look you look like you're going to something. I don't know. Because I've never seen Kingdom Hearts. I don't really understand. And or played Kingdom Hearts. So I don't know. Did you just add me to party so that I can never hide from you are you fucking serious fucking troll you're a troll <laughs> oh no devin's dcing oh no well, i'm leaving <laughs> not remains undone you are ready to depart i'm leaving devin to kagane <laughs> devin doesn't know where i'm at <laughs> Forever hiding from Dev. <laughs> no! Devin left. Oh, you went offline. You DC'd. All right. Have everything good. We need... Wait, anger before... Sek... Isegumi arrive? From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for what you did to give my regards to the old one. New pants. Na, 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 na. Dang, Dev. Now I can actually try and run away from you for reals this time. Ah, uh, I need. I have new whips. Ba, na, 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 da, 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 na, na, ma, na, ma. Do I really have a crown? Oh my god, I legit have a Pope crown. <gasps> I'm the Pope. I am Pope. Oh my god, I'm naked on fucking stream. That's weird. I am the Pope. Bear me. I'm not like a Marinx dad. But I look like the Pope. Necklace of Slaying. I need to go fucking... Uh, before I do anything, 
I need to, um, repair my gear. Ba na 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 na. Ba na 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 na. Ba na 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 na. Ba 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 ba. Am I going the wrong fucking way? Yeah, I kind of am. No, I'm not. Uh repairman, here we go. Um, let me also repair my gunbreaker stuff because I know that I'm gonna need to take at some point. You know, do I have enough money? I think I do have enough money. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some I think I'm gonna get some jewelry. I think that's kind of like, I think that might be a good idea because my shit's so low. Fuck, 15 fucking thousand, God damn. All right, bracelet's fine. I need a new ring. Put a ring on it, girl. Bruh. Healing, offending, I'm offending. There's only one ring offending? Fuck. How many Podex do you have? So the problem, Dev, is like I can't get to the Sundry Lady until I finish Shadow Ringers. I just fucking realize that. So stupid. I know, I thought about that too. I was like. Because I would, because if any, because really, like, as soon as I hit, or as soon as I get to the end of Shadowbringers, or, like, I finish Shadowbringers, I'm gonna, um, like, the quest, I get access to that Sundry Lady up there by the inn, and so as soon as that happens, I'm gonna be farming Poetics, because I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need the gear, um, especially the fucking rings and shit. And like, I get why they did that, but also like, damn. All right. Um, there's that. Ba, 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 ba. Should we have Ragar's reach? For real, the, the 70? Maybe we should go to Ragar's Reach, huh? Yo, I actually really like the blue, Deb. It looks good on you. You should wear blue more often. You gonna dye your feet blue too, or are you just gonna are you just gonna leave them brown? What are you gonna do, huh? Look at Deb's facial expression, y'all. He's like, oh, you know, I'm just kind of here. I don't give a fuck about what anybody else is saying. I'm fucking cool. Yeah, look at my pants. I'm a cool dude. <laughs> I'm cool. Oh, you trying to say something to me? I don't hear you. I'm cool. I'm too cool for this. <laughs> I'm too cool. It's fine. Whatevs, you guys. Look at my pants. My pants are cooler than you. Don't talk to me. If you don't have cool pants, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> oh, I'm such a menace. I'm such a menace. Oh my god. All right, Dev. Jesus. I need a Shutterbringer Relic Daggers. You look fucking dope. I don't know what you're talking about. Ugh, I don't know if I should do anything at Ragar's Reach. I think I should just wait till I get a fuck ton of poetics because I feel like I, I'm, I'm not going to be able to get enough stuff for 615 poetics like that's not enough to do anything so i'll farm some stuff this weekend 
Ugh, should I do this next story quest? I cannot wait to like, I'm like baby rogue. Yeah. I'm Bebek rogue. Yeah. I don't know why my stance is so fucking wide. Like how fucking, this is not smart at all. This is terrible. Okay, you know what, Dev? Just because I'm fucking shorter than you doesn't mean you have to be condescending, sir. I'll cut you with my daggers. I'll cut you. All right, listen, Dev. Just because your swords are bigger than mine doesn't mean that mine are any less effective, okay? I'll cut you. <laughs> or I'll put an arrow on your ass. What do you want? <laughs> Do you want? Which one do you want? <laughs> we can do both. You can't lie and say that ninjas aren't knife perverts. Oh my god. <laughs> Why would you say that? Put an arrow in your ass. <laughs> or I'll punch you. What do you want? I don't know. Holy shit. <gasps> That's fucking dope, dude. Oba. Oh my god, though. Do you have one in every fucking color? Hold on, I gotta change outfits real quick. Ba -na 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 -na. I really should get new rings. Oof. Yeah, I got a long sword too. How do you fucking do that? What pose is that? I cannot find that pose and it's annoying. I'm frustrated. Isn't it just a, isn't it just battle stands? Nah, it's not. Fuck. I'm keen to find this fucking pose. What is it? I'm gonna eat a cookie first. Om nom 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 nom. Ba -na -na -da -na. Ba. Yeah, that victory though? Kinda dope. Oh, for real? Oh, bro, look how boring that is. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Fuck. All right, you have to admit I look menacing as fuck. All right, don't even play. <laughs> don't even play around, Dev. I look more menacing than you do, all right? Even though I got a skirt on and you got fucking culottes. Dev's got cool lots, y'all. I have way more, you know, movement. I have more movement than you, Dev. Because I'm wearing a skirt and you're wearing... See, you're, you're, you're wearing pants, Dev. I'm wearing a skirt. I got more movement. But also, you're probably a lot smarter than me because, uh... If my skirt flies up, y'all are going to see my undies. Oh, you missed me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, I'm going to end while Dev is trying to fucking cut my head off. Dev, thank you so much for hanging out with me. It was lovely. You're amazing. Oh, there goes fucking Devin with this goddamn fucking pose. Such an ass. Worst pose. No, I hate this pose. This is so girly. Look at this pose. Ugh. Yuck. Change a pose. All right, listen. Put the fucking gun away, Dev. Hold on. We have to fucking change my pose first. I gotta go back to my fucking normal ass pose. I'm not a girl. There we go. I'm slightly annoyed. 
face. All right, there we go. Look at my face. Slightly annoyed at Dev. Always slightly annoyed. <laughs> Always causing so much trouble. Dev, thanks for hanging out with me. You're lovely. Mwah. Kraz, wherever you may be, thank you so much for coming and hanging out. Thank you so much for running with me. Verm, it was a pleasure to meet you. Pat, thank you so much for coming in and hanging out, even though this is definitely not a game that you play. I appreciate y'all very, very much. Um, you're lovely. Um, and I hope every each and every one of you enjoys your night. Let's go find someone to raid. How about that? Should we find someone to raid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we do that? I think we should. Mm, mm, mm. Thanks, guys, for coming and hanging out with me. Your pleasure. And your gift. Thank you. Let's go raid Devil. How about that? Let's go raid Devil. We haven't raided him in so long. Dev, thanks for hanging out. D, thanks for hanging out. It's always a pleasure. Should we raise me that's also playing Final Fantasy? Bro, I cannot wait to hear this music when I hit Shadowbringers. You're gonna continue playing. Um, I am going to see what's going on first in my house. There's crazy shit going on in the back of my fucking house, and I need to <sighs> Dev, it's crazy, okay? It's crazy, alright? It's crazy. But if you have to go do something, Deb, totally, totally go and just hang out. Do whatevs. R it's your birthday tomorrow? Oh, fuck. All right, we're going to go raid somebody new, you guys. We've never raided this person before. Their name is Toast TV. Um, I have no idea where they are in... Oh, they're glam hunting. <gasps> oh, cool. They're definitely a lot further than I am. Um... But yeah, let's go raid them. Let's be on our best behavior. I love you guys very, very much. I just want, I would like to remind everybody that we um, are going to be streaming on YouTube tomorrow. Um, if you need to know the link to where we will be streaming, it is in the events tab in Discord. Um, or it is also in the YouTube Chaos Archive um, channel in the Discord as well. I love you guys very much, and I will see you guys tomorrow on YouTube for our first YouTube stream. I hope you guys are excited. We're going to play Spirit Fair, so bring your blankies, bring all of your coziness, all of the things, all right? I love you guys very much, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.